In this video, I will talk about regular expression and how it is used in Google Analytics. Regular expression or regex is a sequence of characters that define a pattern to search. For example, you can use find or find and replace in string search algorithms. You can also use it to validate input. In the context of analytics, regular expression are specific sequence of characters that matches pattern in your analytics data. Google Analytics and many other analytics tools su support regular expressions, so you can create more flexible definitions for features, goals, segment, audience, content groups, and channel groupings, etc. There are different kinds of regex. The first group, wildcards, focus on matching single or multiple characters. The next group, escape, indicates that adjacent characters should be interpreted literally rather than a regex meta character. The third group, anchors, focus on the location where you should start looking for the string. The last one, focus on grouping characters together for search. Next, we will talk about each one of them in more details. First is the dot. A dot matches any single character. That character can be either a letter, a number, or even a symbol. For example, act dot comma scene three will match act one comma scene three and act two comma scene three and many others. The same regex, however, will not match act 10 scene three or act 11 scene three. And why is that? because the dot represents any single character and we only specify one here, not two, so it wouldn't match any two digits. What will match act 10, scene three, then oh, you can think about you use two dots. One represents each single character and that will work. As you want to include more digits, then it gets more tedious. So to make your regex more flexible, you could use a quantifier like the plus sign and we'll talk more about it in later slides. So how quantifiers and repetitions can be used depends on the previous item. Question mark matches zero or one of the previous item. Plus sign matches one or more of the previous item. And star matches zero or more of the previous item. It sounds a little bit confusing, but let's take a look at some examples. 31 question mark matches three and 31 because the previous item to the question mark is one. So ROBB question mark IN matches Robin and Robin with one B only because the previous item is B just on the left of the question mark. 31 plus matches 31, 31, 1, 31, 1, 1, and so on, but not three because the plus sign matches at least one of the previous item cannot be zero of the previous item. Similarly, ABC plus matches a string that has AB followed by one or more C. 31 star matches 3, 31, 3, 1, 1, and so on because star matches zero or more of the previous item, which is one, so it can be three so that the one is a zero match. Remember, we talk about the dot matches any single character. And so what would you use to match a wildcard of indeterminate length? So dot star, this will match any string of any size because dot can be any single character and the star would make it more flexible as to repeat. Backslash escapes the special meaning of regex meta characters, meaning that it turns a regular expression character into plain text. For example, u.s.holiday will match ups.holiday or usb.holiday or u3sg holiday because the dot is a special regex meta character that can match any single character. So if you want to treat a dot like a regular dot, you have to escape it with backslash like this. u backslash dot s backslash dot holiday. It matches only with u.s.holiday and case sensitive as well. We reg x 192.168.1.1 matches only this IP address? The answer is no, because the dots are wildcards again. So this reg x will match many strings like 192.168.151 or many others. So how do we fix this? 
we put escape in front of the dots to make it matching only 192.168.1.1. Another example, how do we use regex to represent a range of IP addresses, such as 123.45.67.250 through 255? And we can use this regex. So the 0-5 put it into a square bracket that is a range of numbers. It can be any of the numbers in this range. So it will match from 250 to 255. We'll talk more about square bracket in the next slide. Character sets using square bracket and ranges using dash. Square bracket match one item in this character set and dash specify a range inside the character set. They're often used together. For example, this regex puts lowercase and uppercase letters inside a square bracket so that you match lowercase u.s.holiday and uppercase u.s.holiday. But why wouldn't it match U.S. holiday or u.s.holiday like this? Because the regex requires periods after the u and s and the h must be uppercase. So therefore, it wouldn't match with the lowercase like here. It also wouldn't match this because it doesn't have the dots that it required. So what will match all of the above? Remember the question mark matches a zero or one of the previous item. So it covers the case that it doesn't have a dot because that means the question mark make it match zero of this dot. It also puts the uppercase and lowercase h in a square bracket so either lowercase or uppercase will work. You can also use a dash to specify a range of characters. For example, 0-9 inside a square bracket matches numbers from 0 to 9. Lowercase a to z, uppercase a to z, 0 to 9 altogether matches all lowercase and uppercase letters and digits. We mentioned that anchors focused on the location of a string we would like to search. Carrot marks the start of a string while dollar sign marks the end of a string. So that carrot US matches US holiday but not next Monday is a US holiday because the regex of carrot US specifies that there shouldn't be any other string in front of the US. Anchor can be useful when specifying an IP address. For example, 192.168.1.1 dollar sign matches 192.168.1.11 but not 192.168.1.15. Why is that? First of all, remember dots represents any single character. So therefore it matches the one here. And the dollar sign requires any matching IP address must end with a one. Therefore this one is a match, but this one ends with a five isn't a match. Similarly, with a caret 72.168.1.1 matches 72.168.1.1 but not 172 because the caret specify you shouldn't have any other things in front of 72. A pair of parentheses group and remember contents as an item. Pi represents either or. This reg x matches uppercase u dot s dot holiday uppercase us without the dots holiday, lowercase u dot s dot holiday, and lowercase us without the dots holiday. Because of the use of the pipe, you got four different cases. Uppercase u dot s dot holiday is matched because of this part. The us without the dot holiday matches the second part. The lowercase u dot s dot holiday matches the third part, and this one matches the fourth part. Would it match u.s holiday or u.s holiday lowercase? The answer is no, because it wasn't one of the options we listed between the pipes. We all listed with the dots or both without the dot. We didn't specify anything with one dot and not the other. So what will? A hint is that you can use question mark. But where to put the question mark? So you put it right after the escape dot. It will match all of the above because um, the question mark matches zero one of the previous item, which is the dot. 
So you could have a letter with or without the dots that also matches. Another grouping is curly bracket or braces. It repeats the last piece of information for a specific number of times. So when there are two numbers in the braces, such as x, y, it repeats the last item at at least x times and no more than y times. When there's only one number in the braces, such as z, it means repeat the last item exactly z times. For example, 123.145.167. arrange 0 9, and with the braces of 1, 2, that means you want to repeat the last item, which is 0 9, at least one time and at most two times. So then it matches IP address goes from 123.145.167.0 through 123.145.167.99 because when you sort the numbers from small to the largest, the highest single digit is 9, and two of them will be 99. There are also shorthand character classes. Backslash D matches any number, so it's the same as 0-9. The D stands for digits. Backslash S matches any Y space. S stands for space. Backslash W matches any letter, number, or underscore. So it's the same as uppercase A to Z, lowercase A to Z, 0 to 9, and underscore. When you put a lot of the regex together, such as backslash D1, comma 3, backslash S, backslash W, and a star, so it will match 345 space in Bacadaro, but not 345 without the space in Bacadaro. And why is that? because numbers and spaces are required as part of this regular expression. So what will match 345 in Bakdaro? A hint is that you can use question mark again. So where do you want to put the question mark at? That is after the space because it will match 345 in Bakdaro without the space because remember the question mark will match zero or one of the previous item. Note that 1600 MP Theater Parkway still wouldn't match. And why is that? Because 1600 is four digits and the backslash D one comma three only matches one to three digits. But what will then? So the hint is that you want to remove restrictions. Therefore, you can use simply this so then the digits are not limited, only repeat three times. So there are several common uses for regular expressions in Google Analytics. You can use it to create filters. It's very common to filter internal traffic and focus on the external traffic. For example, both this regex can match a range of IP addresses from 205.172.232 to 205.172.235. You can also use regex to set up goals. Using a single regex, you can make a goal out of several pages. For example, this regex will match any URL with the index.php page with the parameter download equals to video and then trailers folder and then either internet or theoretical but there shouldn't be any string after this part because of the dollar sign. You can also use regex to check equivalent pages. For example, this regex checks any pages under the subfolder of case study under the folder of downloads. You can also use regex to filter data with the reporting interface. You can read more on this Google support article about commonly used regex in GA. So in this example, we are setting up a filter to exclude all the private IP addresses. Remember the configuration is different from the GA reporting is you want to go to that gear at the bottom and go into the property, which is the website. And then you click on filters and you select custom filter. And in this case, we want to exclude IP addresses uh, that matches certain pattern. Here's the table showing all the private IP version 4 addresses. And you can see that we have quite a lot. 
So if you enter all these IP addresses one by one into the field to match, that can be a lot of work. However, using regex, this text field only shows part of the regex. So I copy the whole regex in here so that the first one will match the first range and the second, third, fourth one will match the 172 range and this one will match the 192 range and then there's another one, the 127.0.0.1 is a common private IP address as well. So this regex matches 10.12.0.19 because of this part of the regex. It matches 172.21.0.23 because of the this part of the regex. 21 will be here. Not 192, 192.168.0.2 will match because of this part in the regex. This will not match because we don't have 222 specified in the regex. This will not match either because we don't have. So let's take a look at 172 and 16 to 19 only. So the 12 is not a match. So another way to use regex is to set destination goals. Destination goals allow you to check when visitors reach a particular page or set of pages on your website, typically with a conversion, like a purchase. So common examples including tracking user when visitors reach thank you or order completed or add to cart pages. So if this is one specific URL, then set the destination field to equal to URL. If you want to match a specific URL account for all the UTM parameters, then you can use begin with filter. If you want to if you want to match multiple URLs with varying subdomains or UTM parameters, then you can use the regular, regular expression filter. If you want to match a particular funnel, then you can select the funnel option. So this is an example showing a destination goal using a particular page called reg register HTML. So you set up a custom goal. In the goal description, you provide a name and select the goal type is the destination. And in the destination, you choose the regular expression and then enter that page you will want to check as the user reach that page. So this page using the backslash to escape the dot so that the destination page can be exactly register success.html rather than register success any character HTML because of the dots. Another example is setting up a destination goal of thank you, but with multiple steps in the funnel. So the first step is enter store. The second step is choose payment method. The third step is choosing shipping method. And notice that in here we use a pipe so that it can match either store credit card or store PayPal. So in summary, regex is a powerful tool can be used to create pattern filters and goals in GA. It can be integrated within report interface. However, small mistakes in regex can make big impact to the results. So you always want to validate before applying. You can look online for more examples and tools to validate your regex.